guys, welcome back. We're uh, right where we left off on the hardcore world. So yeah, this will be episode two of the hardcore world. And oops, oh, it's loud. <coughs> and it's at thirteen percent. That's really loud. Um. Let's see, uh, oh boy, I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. <laughs> um, we are out at night with no bed, no wool, and <laughs> yeah, and no armor. Like, it'd be one thing if I had a full set of armor, <clears throat> I'd just run around all night murdering things. But as it is, I have no armor, so I'm a little bit more hesitant to do that. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's it's way late at night. It's three in the morning. <laughs> um, so I suppose it's early in the morning then, not late at night. I got off work at one thirty. One thirty. Um, it was supposed to be one, but I ended up working until one thirty. So that's cool. I mean, more time for me, right? I get paid more? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, um, but yeah, so I I got off work and I'm bored. And I definitely don't want to go to bed. Not right yet. Oopsies, I didn't mean to put that dirt there. Come on, dirt. Dirty dirt. Dirty dirt. Dirt dirt. Herpa dirt. I don't know. I want lots of iron. Because once I've got tools going, the next thing I'm going to need is armor. And that's going to take a significant amount. Like, tools? Full set? Well, I say when I say full set, that doesn't include um, um, a hoe. Um, so that would be a sword, an axe, a shovel, and a pick. Which comes out to be like sword, axe, shovel, pick. We've got two, three, one, three. <coughs> so that's five and four. Is, okay, so that's a nine iron. Not too bad. And then armor is 24, which is significantly more. So, <coughs> I'm sorry for my voice being so obnoxious. Um, I'm not really sure why it is. What am I doing? I don't even... Alright, I wanted a shovel. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why my voice is so gravelly right now. Um, usually it's not. And I'm sorry for all of you who have to listen to it. But, you know, what are you going to do? I just made the axe so it would be easier to gather my um, workbench because I'm lazy. And hey! Made our way in. And more iron. Okay, so I said it's 24 and 9, which means I have more than enough to make a full set of iron armor and tools, which is fantastic. So, um, once I go back, I'll be doing that. I love how iron's so abundant now. Uh, like I was saying last episode, I do really feel that they should make the game more difficult, because... With iron being so abundant, oh dear. I think there might be a spawner. Because those zombies are being very vocal right now. And, uh, yeah. I'm almost entirely sure that there's a spawner. Yep, there it is. 
I did this really weird. Um, let's see. How can I get there? Should just be able to go this way. That's nice, neat. Um, second episode, go to spawner. You know, since we... I say we, but uh, really it's my own fault. Um, since we lost that last one. Granted, the last one was a... Oh, it opens up to a cave. That's nice. Hmm. I may want to set up a base just around this... Um... Spawner. I mean... I said that I didn't want to do too much construction or whatever and, st and instead do adventuring but does this count <laughs> um like what would, would making a mob trap count as whatever i don't i don't know um because this will give me a super edge being able to uh enchant stuff like I want to really what's going on here oh it's the well <laughs> all right I was like wow another spawner that's crazy nope just a well all right it's a little less crazy. Nope, don't blow up. Would have been cool if it was another spawner, but oh well. Because that would mean that I could make another double trap. Which would be... Grounds for me to definitely make a second trap. Or to make a, an actual trap. Because at that point... Um, it's like, you know, it, it's just begging to be turned into a trap when you've got two of them right next to each other. Um, oh, jeez, I thought I saw a creeper over here, but it might have just been grass. Okay, I saw there early... Hi, zombie! I don't know where you're going. Oh, there's a creeper somewhere. It's on grass, so it must be above me. Or it's a tis <laughs> I meant to say, or it's a testificate. Just because I still call them that. I mean, they no longer have the the names there, but they'll always be testificates to me. Um, I hadn't realized there was a big cave right here. I remember coming up this way because that window is all weird, but um, I don't remember seeing this cave here. Oops. I should eat. And murder some more pigs because uh, I do not have a lot of food. <clears throat> I mean, sure, I've got some wheat, but it's far from enough. <laughs> Wait, were there chests in that dungeon? I don't think there were. Now I need to go back and check. But stop moving stuff, you stu- <laughs> Jerk. Um... Because, yeah, I don't remember seeing any chests in that spawner. Uh, or in the dungeon. Yeah, no, that's stupid. And Hello! Mm. I don't like you. Your kind ruined me last time. Oops. Alright. Exit number two to the same cave in a slightly different place. Hmm. Alright, so... Oh, a few bones. That's nice. It's always nice to find bones. They're pretty useful. I think it's time that I set up a base somewhere, preferably around that spawner. And, um, creepers everywhere. 
uh, once I kill these two creepers, I'm going to pause and get back. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause it, pause the recording, and then I will load up this video, this 10-minute portion, and then do another 10-minute portion, because I'm going to do this hard mode always in 20-minute episodes, just because. Um, so I will be right back. Alrighty. Oops, he's the wrong button. Okie dokie. There we go. Um, so now we have another 10 minutes. And I, I like doing this. It, it's just so much nicer to have 20 minutes to record an episode. I mean, I suppose there's no tangible difference between one 20 minute episode and, or I should say, no, no practical difference um, between one 20 minute episode and two 10 minute episodes but nonetheless I like my 20 minute episodes um, merely because you know I don't know I like longer episodes uh, it's just something that I guess I don't even know where I was going with that sentence I must be tired um, I like having longer videos because I like to fall asleep to YouTube videos. Maybe I'm just a geek like that. But, uh, I actually fall asleep a lot to Northern Lions Let's Play of, uh, The Binding of Isaac. Because he, he has a pretty good voice, um, for YouTube. Uh, and he's entertaining, so, you know. Swears a little bit, but... So, you know, if you're, like, six years old, I wouldn't suggest watching it. But, you know, I don't think any of you are. So, that's that's good. You know, I miss, uh... I played the 1.0.1 the pre-release for a little bit. Early, or not earlier, but, like, a couple days ago. And, uh, I... They changed it so that you can walk on farmland without it breaking. It's just jumping on it that breaks it. And mobs can no longer break farmland. Um, so you don't have to worry about your zombies or whatever coming in and ruining everything. Or, no, was it passive mobs, I think? So, you know, your uh, testificates and um, sheep and whatever won't wander over and destroy your farm. <coughs> Which I think is fantastic. Um, so, yeah. I think the the biggest part of that for me was the um that's hollow that's weird normally they're not uh was the not being able to or not trampling the tilled soil by just walking over it because <clears throat> it makes everything so much easier with big farms and whatever and also um there's a chance for apples to drop from trees it's like i think i believe it's a one in two hundred percent chance um or 1 in 200 chance, not 200%, blah. That'd be like a 1 in 200%, that would be a... Does that work? No. I don't know. I don't I don't think that even makes sense, so I'm just going to stop trying to pretend it does. Um, but yeah, uh, so that's cool. That's a neat way to get some extra health just by, like... Because, you know, you aren't always necessarily cutting down trees specifically for apples, but it, like especially in the beginning when you're trying to get wood uh, to build a house and whatever, and torches and tools, it gives you some extra food right away that's just like free. All you have to do is just chill around while the um, while the tree is dying slowly. Like once the... you, you just gotta wait for the leaf blocks to break, but Aside from that, I mean, you can break them yourself, and I think there's the same chance, but, I don't know. Anyway, it's nice, because it's just, like, free food, you know? I'm not going to turn that down. Uh, they need to do something about these borders. Like, I don't know. They have to do something, because that's just awful, and it looks terrible. I like the water in Swamp Biomes, though. I think it looks great, uh, especially compared to the the original water. Like, if you've got this water and the original water next to each other... I feel like this one is much more realistic, um, and it's also much more see-through, so, like, if you come over here, you know, I can see underwater, and it 
to the point where I can even see the little dark patches like there and there where there's dirt. And then you go like this, and it's like, well, well I guess I can see one. I don't know. It's just everything is... I feel like this one has a lower alpha, so you can see through it better. Whereas that one has a higher one. Yeah, that made more sense in my head. Um, so I'm totally just walking around doing absolutely nothing right now, wasting everybody's time. I don't know what happened to my workbench. I must have left it somewhere. <laughs> Alright. I don't normally do that, so it was a bit of a surprise to me. Did I set up a little house yet? With a chest in it? No, that must have been my, my let's play. Um, my actual let's play, not the hardcore one. Is what I was trying to get at with that, but it just came out weird. Um, so I do have mushrooms and some bones, so I can make mushroom stew if I get too hungry. Which, right now, doesn't look like it's going to be a problem, but you never know. So, let's see. I'm going to try to just... Oh, was that an Enderman? I think it was. I need some coal. Because I'm running low. But yeah, I wanted to kill some pigs because, you know, obviously I'm very low on food right now. And I do have some wheat. Wow, it's actually a lot of wheat. Um, I can make a good... 13? 12? 13? I don't know. I don't feel like doing math right now. It's 3.20 in the morning. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so, I, I can make some bread and uh, sustain myself with that. I I think I just want to build my house around that spawner. Like, have the spawner in the center, and then just have it um, do its thing, and collect me some zombies. That, again, I'll bring them down to really low health, like I did in the other one. Um, because, you know, it's... It, whoa. I just, like, did I just jump into some leaf blocks there? I'm really not sure what happened. But yeah, uh, just because... Like, Etho did a kind of thing with a blaze spawner in the nether. Um, he built his house around it. Or he is building his house around it. So, that way he's always got things spawning. So he doesn't have to go and sit down in some corner like I do in my Let's Play world. Um, and waiting for, th you know, waiting for things to spawn. Uh, so he can just go about and do whatever and still have things spawning no problem. Um, you know, I said that I don't want to do many redstone things or whatever, but that's probably a lie. <laughs> um, because, I mean, let's admit it, I just love redstone. It's... it's probably one of the biggest reasons why I love Minecraft so much, because it's just, it adds so much freedom to do whatever, especially since the addition of Pistons, which, I mean, it was a long time ago, and some of you may not even have been here for that, but I've been with Minecraft since Alpha, and, um, I mean, I'm not gonna say it was early Alpha, but, um, it, I was here since Alpha, so that means pre-Nether um, let's see, I might have come, well, you know, I don't know how long Alpha lasted, I might have been near the end, um, I mean, it might, I might have been a little bit closer to the beginning than I thought, because I remember, let's see, I was there when Nether, when the Nether was added, um, when I came in, there were already, let's see, there were already trees, there were already, I, I'm trying to think back to the, um, Hat Ventures, I mean, sorry, uh, Hat Films Evolution of Minecraft video thing um, for milestones here. I was here when the Nether got implemented. I um, <clears throat> I was here for... Oh, there's my workbench. I was here for a lot of stuff, is the point. And uh, so... Um, yep, I don't even remember what I was, why I was saying that. Um, anyway. So, yeah, I think I'm going to build my house around here. And this will be in its own little box area, and 
I'm not sure what exactly I'll be doing with the mobs, because, like, I don't want to drop them straight down like I did before. That was bad. What I should have done is gather them into a tube and then drop them so that they all fall the same distance, because the way I have it, it ver you know, like, if I've got them all dropping the exact same distance without any variation, then, um... I can ensure that they all take exactly the same amount of damage, and I can bring them down to, like, half a heart. Which makes things so much easier. But, and, what I can do is just, like, remove the floor here, and then they'll have the full spawning area to spawn in, and then, then I can corral them and drop them down. So they still have the full spawn rates, just with a more precise damage. Um, and since my bases will be around it, then it gives me the chance to use it much more often. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm over, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.